Hello and welcome to the Drive My Street website demonstration. Let's get started. When the website first starts up, it wants the user to first enter an address location to get started. We will now enter an address in the address search box and click on the search button. The system will then automatically switch to the street view layout with up to three view windows displayed at the same time depending on your screen resolution size. In this layout you will see two maps at the bottom of the dashboard and the street view panorama image if available for this area in a separate top view window behind our virtual car windshield. The initial street view photo heading direction is pointing to the rooftop location of the selected address. At this point you can start to drive up and down the current street but first let's introduce the map sync concept. We reinvented the classic Google map street view pegman functionality and now there's no need to drag the pegman icon over the map to snap to the nearest street view panorama image. Here is how it works in our system. If you click the mouse anywhere on any map, the system will in this case find the nearest street view panorama photo and look at that direction automatically with each mouse click. The street view panorama photo location is shown with a pegman icon with a red circle around the pegman icon. There is also a red and white direction cone indicating the current view direction of the panorama viewer. Now by simply moving the mouse pointer inside the Pegman red circle without clicking on the map, the system will instantly sync the street view window to reflect the location pointed to by the mouse on top of the aerial map on the bottom center window. This sync process will apply to all map views currently in display, change anything in one view and all other views are automatically updated. This is a simple but very powerful concept. The system uses a small map window in this case, the zoomed in aerial map window on the bottom center that is always in a north up alignment, as the main map control window. The street view panorama image that is constantly rotating its heading view as the user looks around and switches to other panorama images as they navigate. This form of navigation keeps the user oriented on the 2D aerial map and avoids getting lost in the map street view rotations. Just move the mouse to where you want to look at inside the red circle for instant feedback in the street view window. If you click the mouse anywhere outside of the red circle, on any of the two different 2D maps, the system will in this case find the nearest street view panorama photo and look at that direction automatically with each mouse click. There is no need to drag the pegman to the desired location like in the classic Google Map interface. The simple click and look interface increases the target accuracy and also greatly improves the touch interface behavior since dragging on the map to locate the street view image is not required. Each time we click on the mouse on the map you will locate the nearest panorama image and look at the point clicked on. Another option is to click inside the red circle, this will display a larger red target box indicating that is now in touch drag mode. This allows the user to simply touch the screen anywhere inside the red target box on the map and quickly control the panorama view direction as you touch and hold down and move. It does this without clicking on the mouse, just touching down anywhere inside the target area. This user interface is ideal for mobile devices. The touch drag mode is cleared once the user stops dragging over the target area. This makes navigation with Street View fast, easy and it doesn't get your finger tired constantly clicking the mouse when exploring an area on the map. Next let's cover the different map view layouts available. The default layout that we are currently viewing is the street view layout with the car view dashboard active. The main control panel is always located on the bottom right of your display. This allows mobile users to easily control the entire operation with their right thumb easily reaching all main buttons. On the bottom of the control panel you will see four desktop icons that all switch the view display type. Let's switch to 45 tilt view. 
In this display the main top window will have the Google 45 tilt aerial image. You can zoom in and zoom out with the buttons on the top right. On the left there is a rotate map button. This will toggle the 45 tilt view clockwise by 90 degrees with each click. If this location has available 45 tilt aerial images, now let's switch to a roadway view layout. Notice that in this layout the Google roadmap is displayed on the top behind the car's dashboard windshield. Again you have the zoom in and out controls on the top right. Now let's switch to a left, front, right view layout. In this layout you will see three street view panorama photos that are all in sync. The middle panorama is the front view direction and has the car's front dashboard on the bottom to visually orient the user that this is the front of the car. The left panorama is showing the left side view with the car's left door showing in the bottom. The right panorama is showing the right side view with the car's right door showing in the bottom. Now by simply moving the mouse over the aerial map Pegman red circle all views are automatically updated. This innovative view layout is ideal for exploring a given area as it gives the user a broader field of view. Now let's switch back to the default street view layout. So far we have been showing the four different layout with the car dashboard active. While the car dashboard is active you cannot click directly on the top map view. You get a split type view. On the top you have the main map type views, street view. 45 tilt, roadway, athi left, front, right view, and on the bottom you have up to two different map depending on screen size. Now let's toggle the car dashboard icon. This will force the car's dashboard to be turned on or off as you toggle the button. When the car dashboard is off, it will also only show one big map view only. In this mode the user can click anywhere on the map. This gives us a total of 8 map view layouts with a simple click of the button letting the user pick the best layout needed. Ok now that we have covered the basic layout controls let's show you how to start driving in the virtual car up and down the streets. The auto drive mode is the main feature of our product. It's simple and you don't need a driver's license to operate the virtual car. Simply point the car in the desired direction on the 2D aerial map and press the green up arrow button to start driving. You will see the car status window change to go straight and a flash up arrow indication that the car is moving forward. The car moves at slow, medium and fast speed. You can click on the tachometer icon to toggle the speed. The car will continue driving forward until you press the red stop button. While it's moving forward when it reaches the next street intersection, it will try to move in a forward direction past the street intersection, and continue traveling on the next street segment. You can click once on the green left or right buttons to turn the car left or right at the next street intersection if possible. When the car approaches the next street intersection, it will stop, and slowly turn the car in that direction. Once pointed in the new direction, it will change back to go straight mode as it travels forward on the new street. At any time you can start and stop driving. You can also flip the car's current direction with the flip button located on the right. While stopped at any location you can also spin the panorama view left or right with the auto spin icon buttons. That's it. It's really that simple to drive and control the virtual car driving anywhere in the world, thanks to Google Worldwide Street View Photos. On the top left you will see the main menu button. Here you will click on the save link option. The system will create a web link URL. You can then cut and paste the link anywhere to share with friends, workers, and clients. By saving and sharing a link within our system, you are creating your own quick link specific to a given address location, all integrated with the Drive My Street innovative dashboard interface. Also on the main menu you can go back to the search address home page to enter other addresses into the system. This concludes this product demonstration.